Hi, Macy here. Welcome back to Code to Create. A few weeks ago, I just got off the wait list of Dora AI, which is an AI website maker. And here I'm on the website. They say they can create amazing websites just with some text that's log on to their templates. They're showing a bunch of website that's been created by other users, I assume. And you can just use them making your own websites. I have a website for code to create. It was created using WordPress. And that WordPress is a very popular content management system for the web that's been widely used and open source for people who just want to create a website. I started my career actually by making WordPress websites for my clients. It's very interesting to see the innovation in this field. Is Dora going to be better than those open source websites? Does it require any coding, any optimization for it? Does it work on the mobile? How about the cross-platform capability? Let's give it a try. The challenge is making a good looking website. It's actually the design, producing all the beautiful graphics, and also make sure it performs well on the web and on your mobile phone. I will just go to my projects. Here is my first time creating a Dora website, and I was just using my old one that's called Untitled One, which I clicked probably three days ago. Let's go there. This interface looks very clean. If you're working in the digital space, you're probably very used to this kind of clean design. And I don't know what I should do. They do have a toggle. You can switch between desktop and different mobile devices. That is excellent because as a web developer, the most challenging thing is to make sure your website work all across different platforms and browsers and resolutions. Here are some star button. I assume that's where I can type my prompt. Let's click on it. Okay. So I need to type something, a landing page. Yes, like a landing page for code to create YouTube channel. They have two fields, so you can create the first field. It's the description of the template and then have a style. So you can decide what kind of style you like. I personally like very spacey, futuristic because my channel is about technology and coding. And this will cost me about 20 credits just to preview it. And then I only have 120 credits. I'm wondering what is their price structure is like, but Let's see, just keep typing. Futuristic, space, I will say colorful. I do like that. Let's click the button, generate preview. It's 20 credits, okay? Let's generate preview. My instruction is very vague. I'm wondering if it's the same process for all the AI prompts. The more you type, the more accuracy you get, and you have to also learn certain kind of keywords that will become working for you. And here they gave me some previews. The pages are quite small. It's kind of hard to see the preview. Let me just see if I can zoom in on the page. Yeah, make the preview a bit larger, but again, I have to pay for the preview. So, um, right? Now it makes me want to cheat not to pay enough credit. It's uh, yeah, so now they caught me. I do want to maximize my credit usage, right? So I already used 20 credits. If you can see here, I only have like maybe like five more prompts I can do. And I'm just gonna looking through this. I'm not sure if you're like a light theme or dark theme person. I do feel dark theme, it's more trendy nowadays. But the colorful one looks tempting. I'm not sure. I think I will choose dark mode because I'm a developer and all the editors start turning dark mode. I will pick the dark mode. I will click on this, spend my 20 credit, and I will zoom back to regular layout. 
to 100%. Let's check their pricing plan, right? Just so you know, WordPress is free, but you do have to pay for a hosting. And I'm wondering if I can transfer my domain to them or they can give me the code. Let's see how that goes. You have to pay the subscription services. So it's all based on how many visitors you have. And I assume Dora has the power over you. I actually do not like that. I do not like another smaller startup owning my website. So if you want like own your own hosting, you probably have to pay them a premium price for it. I think Dora is meant for amateur users who don't mind hosting a website on somewhere else. Again, I do think they're limiting their customer base because whoever having a website more or less maybe wants to, you know, have some e-commerce going on, maybe want to have some other features. You can see here, they do custom domain, but you cannot host their code. So you do not own their code. You only see the result. Like widgets, I think they probably offer certain kind of services doing that. My website is ready. I don't know. It does not look as impressive as what I would have assumed. It doesn't look that beautiful. I think without all the pictures, just like nothing it's that beautiful i will give a net i will just submit i'm not that impressed because it just looks very bland it's like a wordpress website i feel with all those ai generated tools creating some impressive product it's not that easy here they say Discover comprehensive tutorials and guides to enhance your coding skills. You can subscribe today or watch later. Upgrade to a plan to edit the content. But basically, I got it. You get a layout and you have some banners. They add some text for me, say advanced tutorials. And I cannot edit. I have to pay for it. They have different fonts I can choose. They designed some button for me. Do they allow me to insert a link or not? I do not see that. This tool has learning curves. There are data here. Oh, so I can enter data. It's more like a CMS or content management system I can use. Okay, add a record. That's interesting assets or images being used here. I still need to upload my assets. I am not very satisfied with this design. It does not look that impressive. So what I will do, I will just use other people's template. <laughs> That's the shortcut. The templates. And using other people's templates, of course, is always better <laughs> for someone like me who is not a designer. So here, I really like this design. It has like some 3D models and look pretty good. And green is one of my favorite color. I like this one as well. This looks great. It's bright and vibrant. I like that. It looks really good. I like it. I think the art makes the website more impressive. Um, yeah, let's see. Use for free. Oh, there's some 3D animations. You can animate things like that. This does look like the animator in Unity or the like flash. You can see a timeline of the animation. Ooh, that's nice. You can do the keyframes. That's uh, interesting. I wonder what is the speed it's like on a mobile phone. That still looks really good for a mobile device. Cool. 
code to create let's change SEO settings it's pretty cool let's see if they can do that again oh see here wrong or rights reserved didn't go to another line I think you still probably have to do certain optimizations for different phones or text you probably have to manually move the text around to some other space it's quite interesting but where I really use it in a production I don't think so because I do not think that's good looking enough and my credit is done again just by doing a preview I already used 20 credits for it and this dot template looks really cool let's check that one out it's very interesting this looks really good I like this and let's use for free it does take a while to load all the pages and here are all the dance moves this looks really good it's quite slow I'm not sure if you can see this in my view and the scrolling is quite slow it's already very I'm not convinced it will be a very well performed product on on your uh, on your mobile browsers and yeah I'm like it looks cool but in order to make it work for you you may still have to create for example the dancing duck because it does not match everyone's branding and apparently you can not really change in the dancing duck right you have to import a 3d model for it and they do not generate the 3d model for you the way they say in their ai i think their ai is just a way of searching their template database they probably have like hundreds of templates there uh, instead of traditional search bar they use generative ai to improve your search results that's what i see whether i use this in a production no because i do not feel it's easier than other free resources out there for the pricing point i think it's quite expensive and you do not own all the code you cannot really make precise modifications and a lot more very beautiful looking animations you still have to do the animation manually with well, the 3d model you still have to have this 3d model to be imported i think it's cool they try to brand themselves as an ai company because it is trendy so here it is it's my first impression on Dora, the AI website creator. I hope they will be providing more features and make it more user friendly, make it effortless to create websites. And is there any other alternative to Dora? Yes, I think they are. So here is my honest review on Dora AI. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.